Instagram girls. You see them everywhere. They have completely infiltrated our explore page, mine especially, and it seems like everywhere you go, you can't escape them. They've got the seemingly perfect bodies, faces that look like they were designed in a laboratory, and they be doing those damn TikTok dances, you know what I'm talking about. And with the rise of OnlyFans and simp culture, thousands if not millions of men are paying just to get a glimpse of these girls in some risque outfit or doing some outlandish shit, or they pay just to be acknowledged by these girls. So today, I'm on a mission to figure out if the hype is worth it. Are these girls really God's gift to mankind and worthy of the immeasurable praise? Or are they just normal people who won the genetic lottery and bask in the success brought about by their looks alone? So I went on my explore page and it took me a solid 0.2 seconds to find a girl by the name of Victoria. I saw her pictures, the videos, the TikToks. I saw the link tree in the bio so I already knew what the vibe was. So I hit her up, used my clout and dashing good looks to get her to be a part of this video. She got flewed out off the quickness and what you're about to see is the day that her and I spent together. You're not gonna believe what happened. All right, well, she texted me. She's by the entrance. Look, I never know what to expect with these type of people. Sometimes they can be like arrogant, quiet, or sometimes they're super loud. What'd you see? I'm just putting myself out here. That's all I can do. And as I was in contact with Victoria and we were texting and DMing, I noticed that she was a lot friendlier than a lot of Instagram girls that I've communicated with before. So I was extremely optimistic. The lady of the hour. Hello. Nice to meet you. You can follow me. So you're staying at a Airbnb? And a hotel right now. Hotel. Yeah. How long was it? Did you get here? Uh, only 30 minutes. Not too bad. How hungry are you right now? Pretty hungry. What type of food do you eat? I like anything. Salads. Yeah. I feel like you gotta eat healthy to stay in this type of form. No, I just eat whatever. Oh, really? It's yeah. just your metabolism just does the work? Yeah. I want in and out right now. That sounds pretty good. Okay. <laughs> so you lit up with that one, yeah. I see. I was gonna mention, our complex does have a hot tub, pool. Didn't know if you maybe wanted to... I'll just wear what I'm wearing under. Oh, you're cool with that? Yeah. Let's go. Why, why not? So Victoria and I got in and out and we got back to the crib and my main mission was to just ask her a bunch of questions to try to peel back the layers and see what she was all about. So thank you for uh, joining me today. Yeah, no problem. How do you feel about eating in front of guys? Mm, completely fine. Okay. I mean, it's kind of hard right now so you're gonna see me like chew. Okay, that's funny. a small bite you took there. Yeah, it's kind of hard, literally hard. Oh shit. Speaking of hard, so I found you on Instagram. Mm -hmm. My explore page tends to just feed me these genetically modified superhumans. <laughs> Do you think that you're like a, a very unique specimen? Yeah, I guess so, okay. honestly. A girl of many words also. So, where are you from? Oh, I'll show goodbye. I'm from Portland, Oregon. So there's like trees there. There's trees, rain. Moose, mooses? No. Oh, no moose there? No moose. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh. So that means they don't exist if you haven't seen them. Yeah, it makes sense. Tell me about yourself. All I know is that you're cute and on Instagram. Uh, I have an OnlyFans. Okay. And that's like where most of my money comes from. Actually, all my money. Mm -hmm. Um, I make TikToks for fun. I like to read. I like to work out. Dope. What about you? YouTube. That's really my main thing, making YouTube videos. Now, I DM'd you. Mm -hmm. Why did you answer me? Um, honestly, because I think you're cute. Okay. Um, you were verified, so it's like at the top of my request. Your videos are funny. Did you stalk me? Like, you stalked a yeah, bunch I of them? Yeah, I stalked you. What type of guys do you like, typically? Like, what's your type? I like Mexicans, light skins. I like guys who are taller, funny, nice. I like really nice guys. I'm the nicest. <laughs> <laughs> so perfect. Facial hair, no facial hair. Ripped, dad bod, heavy set, skinny, tattoos, hand tattoos with R on them. Dad bods and ripped are like either. I definitely fall under the, the dad bod or the ripped category. I'm not gonna tell you which one. You think you're picky when it comes to guys? Yeah, I'm kind of picky. Like little things will turn me off and I'll just stop talking to somebody. I've heard that, like the ick, mm -hmm. the ick feeling. Like, like if you breathe weird or like something like that. I'm like, hey man, these girls are bad. Yo, can't even breathe right. <laughs> What happened? I broke up with him. Oh, why? The way well, he breathed. <laughs> he was just trying to get oxygen to his brain. Breathe weird. Like, what the fuck? Or something. Like, when people just. You know? Yeah, I don't nah, like nah. <laughs> Let me get this straight. I gotta watch how I sit down. No, I'm not watching. It's okay. You sit like this. <sighs> no, but like, weirder. Weirder. Okay. Like, I don't know. You did fine. Okay, okay, I'm good. Imagine being the guy that got dumped for breathing. Yeah. yeah, or like not washing his hands after I see him like walk out the bathroom. Oh, yeah. that. What is the key to your heart? Mm, loyalty. Mm. Like I see they're really loyal. Mm. Not like open my heart. What's stopping someone from lying and saying, oh, I'm the most loyal? I have to see it. And I mean, no one could vouch for me. I'm like the most loyal dude I think I know. Because I just know how it feels to be cheated on. So I just know I could never do that to someone. What's like a perfect date for you? The ideal perfect first date? I don't like, have one, no. Maybe just go out, eat, vibe. Mm, vibe. <laughs> um, vibe, talk, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. When was your last relationship? It was super recent and she uh, she cheated on me. It was a shame. I really put all I could into the relationship and she just wanted other males' attention and validation. I wasn't gonna have no self-respect. I was like, no, yeah. I can't do that. It doesn't matter if you're pretty, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, that was really what ended it. It was sad. What's your best 
feature? I think my boobs. Oh, okay. Yeah, honestly. That's like your claim to fame, basically, on your OF? Yeah, pretty much. What size are they? 32 double D. Okay. Actually, 32 D now. Oh, I shrunk a little bit? Yeah, ever since the gym, they like get smaller, I feel like. Oh, no. Yeah. Guess we gotta stop with the gym. Yeah, stop upper body. I'm still trying to go for the lower. <laughs> I didn't see you yet. I didn't look there yet, but it, mm -hmm. it seemed cool. Oh, thanks. What you got going on? You're really making good work at it. No, it's so hard. I don't even want to eat it. How do you feel about fuck boys? Hate them. Not hate them, but. Girls like say they hate them, but they still be fucking with them. I don't. Oh, you're the one girl that doesn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm special. Mm -hmm. You're very unique and different yeah. from all the other girls. So. Um, do you want to feel my snake? Sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So I actually bought a ball python a few weeks ago, literally for the sole purpose of it being a chick magnet so that if a girl came over or something, there'd be a fun activity to do. Some girls are scared of snakes, some aren't. But regardless, I think it just gets the energy going and the adrenaline pumping and shit. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So, welcome to my room. Nice. Skateboards, paintings, because I'm just artistic. I have my degree. Nice. Educated. Do you use it? Technically, <laughs> no. You go to college? No, I dropped out. Oh shit, right when yeah. the OF money came in? Yeah. Now you're gonna hold my snake. Okay. <laughs> it's in here. There's a girl. I'll let you sit on the bed. It lunges out. Oh, that motherfucker. Pissed in that thing. Now I have to take her out and have her not bite me and shit. Oh, so she bites. I mean, yeah, totally. No, no way. Hey. <laughs> Now, Luna is a female ball python and ball python. <laughs> you never held a snake before your whole no, life. No, not at all. They are the, one of the most docile of snake breeds. People think, oh, is it gonna bite me, whatever. Ball pythons don't have fangs like a cobra or like a black mamba or something like that that sink into you all crazy. They're actually the most friendly. Their first instinct isn't to bite you. It's it's gonna be to ball up whenever they get scared or nervous. Okay. So you can like use both like hands. That. Both hands, yeah. Mm-hmm, yeah. She literally feels like a dick, no? A dick? Yeah. You know, strangely enough, I haven't had a dick in my hands oh. before. Well, unless it's my own. Feels like a dick. <laughs> So I left really quick because I actually had to clean the snake cage So I let Victoria just sit there and simmer with the snake for a little bit So I'm not gonna sit here and openly say I was pressed on her But I found that if you're going after a girl that's super popular or has a lot of attention online Whatever you have to set yourself apart from other guys and make yourself more unique in some way And I swear to god this snake has been working wonders for me Because what girl has went over to a guy's place and he let her play with the snake It just doesn't happen So I'm just trying to give the gentleman here a little bit of game Going to an interesting area <laughs> She's hooked in the belt, in her belt loop. This is funny. Your first time? Yeah. Holding a snake? Mm hmm Not too bad. Not too bad. I guess it is pretty dick-like when you think about it. So now, I say we do the hot tub. Okay. So the OF thing, yeah. we skipped over that a little bit. Mm -hmm. You want to get into some details about that? What are you doing on there? Doing on there? Pretty explicit stuff. Damn. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> Damn, pollen season. How much content are you making a day? Probably like two videos a day. Do you think that that's going to affect your future relationship status? Like your guy that you date has to be okay with that? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. And if he's not okay with it and says you have to stop for me. It depends how much I love him or like him. Bit inconclusive on the answers. So when did you start doing it? What made you want to start doing it? Mm, started 2020, and I just had a lot of people tell me to make it, so I made one. Okay. Like on my TikTok lives and stuff. So you'd be doing a TikTok. Yeah. And that's where they funnel in from mm -hmm. the customers. How long you see yourself doing it for? Maybe like two, five more years. Two to five. Yeah. Or maybe I'll milk it out till I'm like 90 or something. Oh, I guess you want to hop in the water now. Yeah, sure. A little dip in there. I'm gonna just stay on dry land because you know rhinos are land mammals. Uh huh. So we kind of sift in the water by the watering hole. Step, yeah. We do a whole. Is that nice? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. What happens when that bra gets wet? No. <laughs> That's it, no problem. Oh my gosh, this is still on. Did you take yeah, I did. I'll get that for you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because your nails are yeah, not done. Yeah, so hard. 32, what's that say? 32D. 32D. You did something. We'll just take that off. It's still okay. Yeah. That didn't work. Wonderful. Hi guys. Cool. So you've always been like the most talkative girl in class, usually? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm always in the back. You always been shy? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I don't think I'm shy. I just don't know what to say sometimes. When you're with your close friends, are you more talkative? Yeah, Got sure. You. Do you ever get loud? Yeah, I have to feel like really comfortable with somebody. So we had a real chatterbox in our hands, but I told her, hey, we'll just kind of cut the cameras. You and I can keep talking and feeling each other out, just seeing what the vibe is. And she warmed up a little bit more after that. She might have been nervous just because of the camera. We were definitely getting more acquainted. It was going well. 
So, how you feeling? Pretty good. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Let's see. So, this is your first time meeting me, obviously. Mm -hmm. What's your first impressions? Based off of, you know, we were hanging out, talking, oh. you saw me on Instagram, now in person for a while. What's your analysis? Um, pretty funny. You're cute. Creative. Okay. Mm -hmm. You enjoyed the snake? Yeah, the snake was nice. Okay. The food was decent. Did you know I could cook? Oh, really? Mm hmm. I'm not really good at cooking stuff. What's your favorite thing to cook? That's a great question. Oh, there's so many different things that I do. Uh, what? Uh, no, can I talk to you for one second? Oh, yeah, over here? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, cool. There's someone with the camera. Oh, okay, cool, yeah. What the fuck do I cook? I don't cook anything. What the fuck do I say? I don't know why you said that. I thought it would be like a good catch. Like, that is true. If the girl knows you can cook, it's like, dang, most guys don't even know how to do this. That's what I'm saying. Because I'm trying to, like, it's gonna escalate. Like, took her out to eat. You got to know her. Oh, we're just in a hot tub together. Now it's kind of like pasta. What's like an impressive dish to cook? What's that one dish? That sushi. Soup. Can you make sushi? Every girl. Every girl loves sushi. sushi. Okay, I need sushi. I'm sure. All right, yeah. Yeah, the numbers based on the. I'd probably do like twenty thousand on that. Wait. Hey! Hi. Sorry about that. Something happened with the camera and shit. Business, you know how it goes. What were we talking about? Oh, yeah. Food or something? We're talking about food? Oh, yeah. Can you cook? Like, what do you like cooking? Oh, yes. My favorite thing, hands down, to cook has got to be sushi. How do you make it? No, but give me two seconds. <laughs> how the fuck do you make sushi? I don't fuck. How do you make sushi? Nigga, I don't know. You roll it. You put it into a run, you chop it up. You can't cook sushi. I just have to bullshit it. I'm just gonna lie out of my ass. Yeah, she won't know. And then that's when I told her, put the million dollars in my savings first. Oh, that was crazy. So sorry about that. It's all good. Ah, uh, Victoria. Can I call you Vicky? No. Okay, yeah. What about Tori? Tori. Yeah, that, that's okay. What were you, I can't remember what we were talking about. How do you make sushi? Sushi, oh yes, my favorite dish. It's pretty simple. You take in uh, the ingredients. It's simple, you kind of just lay them out mm -hmm. long, roll the whole thing up and just dice it. Okay, the seaweed is. Exactly, the seaweed, the, all the ingredients. I can make pretty much anything that you would want. I don't want to like come off too strong, whatever. But do you think I could be dating material? Just off of first, you know, impressions and stuff. Mm, maybe, I don't know yet. How long does it take you to know usually? Maybe like three more times hanging out. Three hangout sessions, mm. then you'll really get the, the vibe of mm -hmm. how you're feeling. Well, would you be down to do another like little date vlog or something? Would that be, would that be yeah. cool with you? Yeah. Maybe if the viewers drop out 50K likes on the video, then we'll do a part two. Yeah, okay. And you have an Instagram. Right? Yeah. Feel free to follow her on Instagram also. And yeah, I guess if they want to find out all the other extracurricular activities you do, they could just uh, go on my Instagram. Links in your IG. Yeah. So would you say that you're the cuddle type? You enjoy cuddling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like how you're just so simple with everything. Yeah. You just be agreeing with everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. What do you not agree with? Um, What's like uh, a pet peeve? People who are cocky, I guess. I don't have that many pet peeves. I'm a pretty simple, happy person. Go with the flow. Yeah, go with the flow. Why don't we just go with the flow and just cuddle and watch Hulu or something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> My type of girl. Great, sounds good. Yeah.